Hey guys, so I'm at home today. I'm actually bumming it because I've been pretty sick actually the last few days. But I've been watching everybody soaping, especially um, Sheree. I've been watching her from Ariel Secret Garden. Hi! <laughs> soaping today and she's been encouraging, inspiring me to soap too. And I think it'll cheer me up um, and hopefully just get me on my feet again. Because candy corn, I got in some candy corn fragrance oil from Nature Secret, Nature Secret Garden, sorry, <laughs> Nature's Garden, and it's an amazing scent. It smells almost like verbatim, like candy corn, with maybe an extra touch of almond, like marzipan, marzipan almond. So, but it smells almost like verbatim, like candy corn, out of the bottle. So I'm really excited to soap it. And um, I will put her information below. Please check her out. Um, her store is called Ariel Secret Garden. <laughs> like how I was combining both names. Um, so Nature's Garden is where I got this. But um, Cherie, who I'm talking about, she is a seller online, so you can get the stuff that she makes. And I'll put her stuff below. She's amazing. She's one of the most creative soap makers I've ever encountered in my entire life. And um, Ariel Secret Garden is her store. So she's soaping. I'm putting videos up right now, so it's kind of encouraging me. So this is a nice mold that I got. It does 30 ounces, so I'm going to do 10 ounces yellow, 10 ounces white, and then 10 ounces of orange. And then I'm going to slice them up. And I'm going to make some candy corn. And I'm using um, some soya milk natural base mountain pour also from Nature's Garden. This fragrance oil has 6% vanilla in it, so I'm also going to try Nature's Garden Vanilla White, which is their vanilla stabilizer. So, and I need to use 0.3% of the base for that. So, I'm going to work on this, cut these up, melt these at 30 second intervals, add my fragrance oil, you use 5%, and then I'm actually using colors from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They're just little drip colors because with Melton Pour you can just use drip colors. With cold process you need to use mostly micas and stuff. So my lie is not here yet, partly my fault. I don't have a fax machine so I had a snail mail over my lie waiver and I didn't get into mail right away because I just moved and I, had, I didn't have any stamps on me. So in the meantime, I'm very excited. I'm going to make some candy corn. I have been saying that, right? I hope I haven't been saying cotton candy. Candy corn. I'm going to make some candy corn. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm going to make some candy corn soap. Okay, this is a great idea. I'm already, I'm already cheering myself up. Okay, I'll take you guys along the process as much as I can. Okay. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to fragrance and color each 10 ounces one at a time rather than do all 30 ounces together because I know the layers need to set up a little bit anyways just a touch. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. I hope, I hope I don't cut the soap when it's done and then the layers like are not attached to each other. So I may try to get everything actually ready ahead of time so I can just wait. I, I think Melton Pour sets up really fast. You need just like a film, like to feel a film. Like if you shake it, there should be a film that you see moves a little bit. And then you can start to pour the next layer. So. I may try to have everything ready, but I think I'm going to do them separately and then just try to keep keep it set up so that get everything ready so that I can just do the heating and, and put everything in while I'm waiting for the previous layer to dry or set up. I don't think that's the right thing, but get a little bit firmer. Cold press sets up. I don't know what um, cold process sets up. I don't know what Melon Pour does. Can you tell I'm on cough medicine? Sorry, guys. <laughs> But I may try to do everything, get everything ready so that as one is setting up the other one, I'm just maybe just adding some fragrance oil too or something. But I, I still think I'm going to do each 10 ounce separately. So this will be an experience. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, let me, I'll try to take you along for as much as I can. Okay. Hi guys. So um, that, <laughs> can, can you see I'm, I'm nervously tapping in the background. So mm -hmm, this is why people don't soap when they're under the weather. Um, or craft with soap, which is what I'm doing because this is already soap. Um, I only have enough fragrance oil to scent 20 ounces. So this whole 30 ounces thing has been crazy. So never mind, scratch that. I'm going to fragrance and vanilla stabilize everything together and then just separate the three colors. And I'm just going to somehow keep the other two colors warm so that they don't harden. 
while I wait for the first color, the first layer to harden. And I have a strategy. I'm going to do it first, see if it works. I have a strategy for keeping the other two layers liquefied. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, here we go with the candy corn. Ugh, I've never used an entire bottle in one fell swoop. They do such small soap, so this is like crazy. I really hope this turns out. Oh, it smells so good. smell of vision <sighs> smells so good. Like candy corn and a touch of sweet almond paste or marzipan. All right, here's the vanilla stabilizer, which apparently you can use in lotions even and cold process, as well as the melt and pour. Um, that's what uh, Nature's Garden advertises. I haven't used it for anything yet, so I don't know. But uh, I will try it, and I will let you guys know. First, starting with the MNP. OK, I'm going to get ready to separate and color these. Okay, here goes my yellow. And I probably mixed too hard. This is probably going to be a very bubbly layer. Um, let's see. Okay, guys, so I'm just waiting for this to set up a little bit. I sprayed it with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of some of the air bubbles, and I took the fork along it and tried to get some of those bubbles out. That seemed to do pretty good, or pretty well. And then this is actually what I'm doing to keep it liquid, and it seems to actually be working. I thinking maybe using a hot plate, but I think a hot plate would be too hot. And I know this is so ridiculous of me, but this toaster oven gets extremely hot on top. So I, it's like a toaster oven slash mini oven. Um, I don't know. It has like a million abilities. It's crazy. And I cook for one a lot, so this is perfect. It's like a mini oven. So I have it on its highest setting on bake. And it's keeping it liquid, so... I'm pretty good with that, like just a little bit of a film maybe, but not, not really anything. So, and then I am, I am checking it with my thermometer though. I do keep making sure it doesn't get over its um, flash point or anything like that, or too high that the scent would evap evaporate out. So, okay, let's see how this is doing. That's looking really good actually. Okay, I'm going to try to add the next layer. Okay. Okay, so I added my white, and I don't know why I did this, but I started pouring it like way up high, which when it has farther distance to go, it's heavier, right, it, or has more force. So you can see it, it did stir up some of the yellow on this side, but when I got down here, I realized pour it closer, pour it closer. I even tried to pour it down like the knife, as if somehow that would make it more less forceful on the layer below it, but then I was still pouring it like way up here, so it still was going just as fast. So then I realized to, you know, pour it, you know, have the spout as close to here as I could. So we'll see, it's a learning experience and I'm just kind of I'm just kind of excited. <laughs> so alright, so we'll let that set up and then the last layer will be orange. Okay. All right, here we go. Last layer is in quite bubbly. I think I was beating the mixture too hard with uh, the fork. Should I think if you stir with a spoon, less bubbles get in there. Like if you stir with a fork, you just end up adding a lot of um, aeration, a lot of bubbles, which I forgot about. So it'll be quite a bubbly loaf of uh, of, uh, of soap. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like when I cut it open. This is my first ever trying to layer or do anything like that So um, with this amount of soap. So I'm kind of excited to see it. And it's, it's M&P, so we should know in just a few hours. So yeah. All right, I'll see you guys then. See you in a little bit. And I just have to say this one more time, but this smells so good. It smells like candy corn with a touch of almond and it, it's just such a warm scent too. I can't explain it. It's like if somebody decided to melt down candy corn in a saucepan. <laughs> like it smells like that plus a touch of almond um, paste or, or marzipan which I absolutely love. I am just dying to cut into this but it's like it's still it's still liquidy which should be expected I guess it, it's such a big 
uh, amount of soap. I just when I got this mold, I just love this shape here, and I just instantly it made me think of kind of how the candy corn, you know, it kind of is in that shape. And I know I didn't do my candy corn colors in the right order, but this is just kind of how I envisioned it. So we'll see. There might it might be kind of swirly down here or melted, bleeding. What is it? Bleeding, moving, traveling layers <laughs> down into other layers, but um, I kind of hope it comes really nice here. I know layers are really hard, but I don't know. I just had to do it. I just had to do it. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. And I just think that's the cutest shape. I think it's going to look really cute. So, but yeah, I'm really loving this fragrance oil. Oh, I'm probably going to have to get a big bottle. I'm really liking this. I'd love it in a candle, too. And that's great. That's one thing I really like about Nature's Garden is a lot of their fragrance oils, like they give you the percentages to use it for whatever you want, like potpourri or hand lotion or candles. Or I'm just very, uh, very pleased with uh, with that uh, supplier, with that company. All right, I'm gonna go be patient, and we'll come back in a little bit. <laughs> All right, <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Or See you in a minute. <laughs>